you, you're quite a lot in America at the moment, aren't you? Or yeah. it seems to that you... How's that going? Really As a well. Brit in America. Really well, really well. It's, it's, you know what, it's really simple to have one hit in America. Really? But the follow-up and maintaining success there. Yeah, like every one of my peers has yeah. had a hit in America. And I think you kind of get it and you're like, cool, that's done. And you move on to the next one. Mm. And, I, and I ended up staying out there and realising that the second single is the biggest struggle. And kind of getting yourself cemented as a live act. I must have done like f five tours there. Yeah. And like really cemented must but yeah it took a while it took a while but america is one of these countries much like germany or mm. or france or you know switzerland but where once you have it yeah you, you're, you're, kind of, you're safe you're, you're kind of yeah. safe like snow patrol um oh, their last like massive hit was chasing cars which was you know cl close to 10 years ago and they yeah. can still sell out huge venues That's wicked. Um, and you know going on tour with them seeing that you can maintain a fan base even if you can't just have radio smashes because not everyone has radio smashes yeah. and I don't think I'm always going to have radio smashes but I don't like think to... so? No, I've never really had radio smashes really this well, think... song with Pharrell is the first one that's actually been well I can tell you you know I See Fire mm. that's been on the radio here everywhere but that's so weird because that, that song wasn't a hit anywhere like it's I really weird I know over here we love that well, well we three of us we yeah. three we love that thank song thank you it's no but that song's so i it's my I, favorite i'm really song. surprised that you say you're, well, you're saying this right now it's my favorite song i've ever written um but when i wrote it cuz uh, cuz it was it was on universal and i'm on warner yeah. um cuz it was on universal for the hobbit we had to lease the song to them mm -hmm. so but the deal was you can have the song but you can't put it to radio and they right. were like cool deal so the song went out and it you know i think it went like top 15 in england and yeah. top 20 in america and number 1 in new zealand obviously cuz it's the hobbit the hobbit you ha it has to be number obsessed. 1 in yeah but so uh <laughs> And it just kind of went there and then slipped because no radio, we weren't pushing it to radio. And then suddenly I'm like, oh, it's number two in Germany and number two in Switzerland and yeah. number one in Sweden and Norway and um, Iceland. And just like, so obviously someone from Universal here didn't get the memo and put it on the radio. And I'm so grateful they did it. I was going to say, so is that grateful. good or bad? I've never had a hit in Germany, ever. Like, ever. That sounds so weird to me because, I, well, obviously I don't like follow the German charts or everything or how the Germans... Um, take you or whatever but I would have thought that you are quite big in Europe and all I'm from a ticket point of view I can sell arenas yeah um which is all I've kind of ever wanted to do but like cool. in terms of like the success that I've had in England mm -hmm. with songs on radio and chart positions like and seeing them because I never really had a hit in Germany and then suddenly I see fire which isn't a hit anywhere else is I love so that massive. I really love that song to be honest with you. Thank you. <laughs> sound like a fango right now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So how's, how's life been going so far now with the tour and everything? It's going great, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying uh, promote, promoting new music. Cool. Actually having something new to talk about, something new to play. Yeah. Does that get frustrating? Like, Because, I mean, obviously you do quite a lot of interviews. Don't you like somehow get sick of talking about the whole same topic over and over again? It's not too bad now because I've done a lot more. Um, so there's more to talk about. Um, right. Yeah. So it's not too bad now. But there was a point in time where you were sick of it? Or? At the, right at the beginning. Yeah. Just because no one knew who I was. So the, f the first question is always going to be the same. But then once you get over that in this initial slump, which was yeah. only about six months, it, it's been uh, clean, clean sailing. You, know? you haven't changed because like, you know, when we met at the St. Garland two years mm. ago, and now I was like, before we met, I was like, oh, has he changed, obviously, with America and everything and the whole thing. But you haven't, it's, to me, as a person who's met you twice now, you haven't changed a bit. Is that, is that common? Is that weird? Or um, I don't know how to in, in, interpret it now. I don't, you know, America, America does change you, but it's, it's, it's whether you stay out there or, like, I'd always come back for little periods of time to, okay. I would be at an Oscars party with every A-list actor that is in my DVD collection and then <laughs> the next day in my hometown drinking a pint with my mates. Cool. So um, I think having that balance. Maintaining that thing, yeah. yeah. Not, not being too glam and not being too down to earth yeah. and kind of finding a middle, middle ground. Cool. I think that's the key. How was the Oscar party? Because I, I think that you're quite a, obviously a big um, film fan, so who was like the coolest person you met at that time? Um, 
I ended up having a conversation with Paul McCartney and then getting interrupted by Prince. That was... That how, was how, <laughs> da, how dare he? How that dare Prince? <laughs> I was just like, oh, you know what? You know, uh, you can, you can have that conversation. Oh, okay. So that was, uh, yeah, that, that actor-wise... I don't know, because I don't really know any actors personally. Like, I'd, yeah. met, I'd met Paul McCartney before, so it was more... It was easier Hello, to approach nice someone. to see you again, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. So I was just looking at people. Um, yeah, I bumped into Cameron Diaz. That was, she's very attractive. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, there was that. Okay. Like, but yeah, I didn't really speak to anyone. Oh, yeah. I met the actors from 12 Years a Slave and um, uh, G- Gab- uh, Gabrielle Sidibe, uh, the girl that plays Precious. Oh, yeah. she's wicked. Yeah. She's well cool. Who would you like to meet? Or, uh, or have d- you met everybody d- probably, on your list? Probably DiCaprio. He's, he's, he. I don't know, he's, he's just never so been... He's so cool. Never been in a bad film, I don't no, think, anyway. No, And it, but it's always like the whole thing about, you know, like on the internet, everybody everybody feels so sorry for him that he's never got an Oscar. Mm. That's the whole shebang about him, and everybody I, feels sorry I, I for him. Sure he, I'm not sure he's going to care that much. I like, wouldn't care. If I would be Leonardo DiCaprio, I wouldn't care. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he makes great films. He gets paid a hell of a lot of money. He sleeps with very, very beautiful women. They're all, they're all blonde, lovely, gorgeous models. Does he care about the Oscars, really? I don't think so. I if, a, it, would, it would be a bit weird if he would care about it. Having a conversation with Bruno Mars after the Grammys and he didn't yeah. win a Grammy. Yeah. And I think he's only ever won one Grammy. But he was like, yeah, I'm playing the Super Bowl next week. So, oh, OK. Yeah, like, it's, not, it's not the worst thing in the world if you <laughs> no, don't it could be worse. It's always nice to. Would you ever play the Super Bowl if you could? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It just, I watched Bruno's performance and he, he was so amazing and so mm-hmm. like fiery and entertaining. Yeah. I'm just not that. Like, I don't think I could come with that. Because he's so slick. Yeah, he's, like, he's just like, oh, he's so cool. But, but like, uh, yeah, I just don't know if I could be that entertaining. I don't think I, I have. I think you would be. He has hits after hits after hits, though. And in America, I'd just come on and say hi. Play, play sing and be like, <laughs> hello, everybody. <laughs> Football, sport, yay. Yeah. But he played with Red Hot Chili Peppers. That was wicked. Yeah. Oh. They didn't have their instruments plugged in, though. If you watch yeah, it, they haven't. <laughs> do, do you play playback sometimes? Yeah, when you have to. When you have like, to. You like. can't sound check for the Grammys. Um, yeah. No, no, not, not Grammys. You, can't, you can sound check for the Grammys. You can't sound check for the Super Bowl. And um, some TVs, like the, the Voice, um, X Factor, yeah. Some that's a like pity. That. But isn't I don't it? usually play with a band, that's the thing. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm usually just solo, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, okay. sometimes you have to do playback. Cool, cool. Not vocal, though. Not vocal. Or guitar. You can always get away with guitar and. Could I